Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you are having a great day. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Gus Noah. I know it's been a little while since I've done a tutorial, but recently I traveled to the Pacific Northwest to shoot a short film called Into the Woods, which I posted uh, yesterday or whenever I post this, whenever a couple days ago or whatever. But it's uh, about my father, legacy and growth and following our own path. So you guys should go check that out and show some love. And also a few weeks ago, I posted a pack of five LUTs for your color grading in your video. So you guys should also check that out. I'll be leaving the link for that down below in the description for you guys to use. So now let's get into tutorial number 18. that I'm going to be showing you all today is a real simple little effect that I like to use for my intros, my outros, my videos. It's called a desaturated fade in where it goes from black to white and then the image becomes more saturated. It's a real simple effect to use. It's just a couple keyframes in the color grading area for saturation. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. And now let's get into Premiere Pro so I can show you guys how to do this effect. So now that we're in Premiere Pro, I did all my color grading on my separate adjustment layer right above my clip. So then the next step to do is select the adjustment layer, go up to video effects. And then after that, you're going to want to go to Lumetri color and you can see basic correction. You're going to want to select that and go all the way down to saturation. And as you see right here, you're gonna to want to select that stopwatch to activate a keyframe. And since we're at the beginning of the clip, we want that to be black and white. So we're gonna put that setting to zero and press enter. And then after that, we're going to go to the end of the clip right around here. And we're going to enter, let's go to the keyframe right there. We're gonna select this again and change the setting to 100. So the beginning is a zero, so it's black and white, and at the end it's 100 for the full saturation. And that's how you get that black and white to saturated effect. And then it's just basically two uh, simple keyframes, and then after that you're basically done. So let's see how that looks real quick. Black and white, too saturated. And as you see, it gradually fades into the saturation, giving it color. I like to do this effect. Sometimes I like to do full black to white, um, basically changing opacity from zero to 100, kind of doing the same basic steps, or just adding a cross dissolve, a little simple fade in when I'm editing, trying to edit fast on a project. But I like to do this for the intro and outro at times. It, it depends on what I'm editing. But that is how you do a desaturated fade-in effect. So if this tutorial helped you in any kind of way, please subscribe and like. I will be trying to do a tutorial once a week. And thank you for watching.